Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is my 5G course on IoT Understanding channel. As for today, we're going to talk about uh, downlink control information in 5G. We're going to talk about PDCCH allocation and mapping and the such idea as Corset. So the Corset, it is a control resource set and a certain numerology and this is a very important point very important note uh, because as you may already know from my previous videos in 5g we can have different numerologies so 5g is even more flexible than 4g and uh, so we can have different control resource sets different uh, areas in which PDCCH with downlink control information with uh, the modulation reference signals can be allocated for uh, specific uh, users. So the core set consists of uh, one, two or three, like in my example, uh, symbols or FDM symbols in time domain and um, many resource blocks in frequency domain. Uh, PDCCH may occupy uh, the whole corset area uh, or uh, just um, a part of it as in it example. PDCCH may be in every corset area or uh, have some periodicity, for example, like this, yeah? So um, it is very flexible system and um, it, it, there is a huge difference between 5G and 4G when it comes to allocating downlink control information. Because in 4G, a PDCCH uh, is allocated across the whole channel, across the whole bandwidth of LTE. And um, PDCCH uh, in LT may have uh, different uh, resources, different symbols in time domain, one, two, three, or sometimes even four. Uh, but in f and, and for that reason, uh, in LT uh, was used a specific channel, such channel as um, piece of each channel as you may uh, probably uh, know and in 5g we don't have such channel piece of each that indicates uh, a specific format of uh, PTCCH allocation in LT in 5g we have a corset concept we have bandwidth parts so uh, we don't have uh, we don't have to have any specific channels to uh, let you know how uh, downlink control channel is allocated. We have the specific areas, very configurable, very flexible, with some repetitions. Uh, so the UE may, uh, can, can actually uh, know in a very precise way uh, in which area special DCI uh, scrambled with specific identificator to indicate paging, to indicate a scheduling information, to indicate uh, some random access response. And actually, for initial access, for random access response uh, message, uh, the core set is uh, the information about uh, such corset configuration for initial access is inside uh, broadcast channel it is inside pbch uh, but uh, after initial access procedures uh, the corset may be configured very flexible uh, via rrc signaling via rrc level uh, and the corset area is consists of a registration uh, element group 
and one registration element group is one resource block multiplied by one symbol. This is just one little square. And such resource groups we can uh, combine in uh, control channel elements as in LT. Uh, and such uh, elements may be uh, again a few FDM symbols, one, two or three, and uh, a few resource blocks in frequency domain. So, in order to increase uh, the PDCCH robustness, uh, the probability of decoding uh, downlink uh, control information, we can configure repetitions, we can configure kind of aggregation levels. And PDCCH in 5G uh, can be repeated uh, up to 16 times. So um, uh, it can be very uh, strong to and uh, can uh, successfully cop cope with interference with uh, low uh, signal to noise to noise inter uh, ratio. And Apart from uh, PDCH repetitions, we can configure interleaving for uh, CCE area. So we can even uh, have a combination of interleaving technology and uh, PDCH uh, repetitions in order to increase uh, PDCH robustness even further. And um, Apart from uh, this, uh, we can have a kind of a combined cell. Is when, for example, a micro cell with uh, millimeter waves, let's say, but with high throughput potential. This micro cell may have only PDSCH, only shared channel for uh, user information, yes? And we can simultaneously uh, configure macro cell with strong uh, coverage, but only with PDCCH resources. And when we combine uh, those cells, uh, we can have a one good cell with uh, huge PDSCH resources and with strong PDCCH. Uh, resources to uh, cope with interference and other things. And actually, in addition to that, uh, we can configure corset area in such way that uh, we can avoid intercell interference. It is a very interesting topic again. So, um, and I just wanted to, to add that, yes, the corset, the corset may be configured only for uh, active bandwidth part and that's why uh, in inside the whole bandwidth inside the whole component uh, carrier component for 5g we can have different concept uh, of core set so we can have different core set with different numerologies for one uh, for the whole 5g bandwidth that makes it more flexible and more uh, robust to interference. So this is, was my short lesson about PDCCH allocation and mapping and uh, the core set idea. If you like it, you can uh, like, subscribe to my channel, uh, watch the whole playlist about 5G course and enjoy. So. Stand by with Understanding IT channel. Goodbye.